Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Charlotte 49ers Dynasty. In this episode, you can submit your recruit below. Now, make sure you follow the template in the description. I'm looking for some recruits for the next season, and I swear, this, this season's recruiting has been pretty good. And I'm looking forward to seeing what we can bring in in years to come. Now, in this episode, we have a doubleheader going up against Rutgers. As you can see, we are on the road. They are just a one win team. Actually, they have not won at all, really. I mean, they are not a very good football team right now. So our first drive resulted in a drop for a first down. Here we are on defense. Started out. And here is a sack fumble. Emmanuel Webb goes straight to the quarterback and strips him. And now we take over with great field position inside the 10-yard line. Quick highlights inside the 10 now. Rochford moving to the right side. He's just going to take it. And dive. Touchdown. Brian Rochford can move when he needs to. He gets into the end zone on that one, diving. And it's 7 to nothing. We get an update across the land, and Appalachian State loses to USF. So Appalachian State, after losing to us, has lost three straight, and Boston College continues to win. So here is Roch for now, back on an offense. He throws across the middle. It's a gain of 10. Terrence Pitt Howard out of the backfield. Here he is getting a handoff this time, cutting up field, finding a little bit of room. It's a gain of four yards. So from the shotgun now, Rochford, just about outside the red zone. Here's a quick throw, and that's Devon Cash, who has led our team in receiving since Rochford has taken over. His first catch of the game goes for 13. So here's a handoff up the middle. This is Terrence Pitt Howard, and he picks up a gain of six. He's inside the 10-yard line now. So it looks like Matt Brooks is going to run in motion on this play. Terrence Pitt Howard. No, we're going to give it to Brooks. And it's going to be a gain of five inside the five-yard line. And it's goal to go. So at about the two, Terrence Pitt. We're going to give it to him. And it's a touchdown. TPH gets in for another touchdown. And this Rutgers team just does not keep up with us. And we end up winning this game 27-20. It was way closer to than what we wanted, but I, in garbage time, they scored a couple of touchdowns. But other than that, we pretty much dominated that game. Now, we moved to 5-4 and four in the conference, and we are now on top, at least competing with Boston College. And look at Appalachian State. They have just fallen so far, and they actually lost to USF, as we saw in that highlight. So they are 7-3, and three, actually. And looking at our stats this year, we have done pretty well. I think that we're just a well-balanced team. Terrence Pitt Howard has run for seven touchdowns, 660 yards. He will run for his career high this season. Devon Cash, 607. He has been amazing since Rochford came in. He's got 31 receptions. Christopher Dalton still leads us in receptions with 38. And on defense, we're actually not getting to the quarterback at a high clip, but at least one or two sacks a game. There's no, there's never a game where there's like no sacks. We're not getting any pressure. We're at least getting pressure now down the stretch. And now we play against Louisville, who, once again, another bad team. Aiden Robbins is their one lone star. He has 993 yards rushing. And they do have a redshirt freshman quarterback, so they will grow. But right now, they're not winning games. A one-win team, definitely not a very good team. And Daquan Jordan, the four-star receiver, is going to be... Uh, visiting us today as we do return home and here we go Brooklyn Santana for the main event here in this episode we'll take the opening kickoff back and it gets to about the 19 maybe the 20 so Rochford has been very good controlling the football this year and let's see what he can do in one of his last home games as well here's Rochford throwing to the left side and he's got Dalton and he does get up the sideline it's a gain of about 23 to about the 43 this is our second to last game at home this season. Next episode, we will take on Boston College. Here's a fullback dive. This time, Alexander Wynn. I said I wanted to get him involved in the offense, and that's what we do right there. It's a gain of six for the fullback. 
He remains in the game this time. Play action fake, throwing to the sideline. And Brooklyn Santana runs an excellent route. He's open on that one. They thought we were going to run it with the fullback on the field. Under center again, Rochford dumps it off short. It's Pitt, Howard, he breaks a tackle, spins, and gets tackled from behind. It's a gain of seven. You can see we're running the I formation, a formation we don't really run too much. Here is Pitt Howard up the middle and clearing away. It's a gain of six. How about this first drive? Rochford now in the shotgun. This time, pressures to the right. He throws to the left. It's Alex Patterson, the senior backup tight end. It's a gain of 10. He picks up just about enough for a first down, but they don't give it to him. Third and inches is a handoff, and Terrence Pitt Howard tackled in the backfield. Jadarian Boykin is in right away. Look at that, unblocked. It puts the hit on Howard, and we will settle for three on our opening offensive possession. Game break here, and look at this. Rutgers, who we just defeated, they are blowing out Boston College on the road by 21 points in the fourth quarter. Can you believe it? Boston College, remember, is the one team ahead of us in our division. Here's a throw out to the right side, and that is Landon Brown as he picks up a gain of five. Charlotte and BC are the only undefeated teams in the entire American Athletic Conference. Here's a screen pass called on third and five. Aiden Robbins has space. He tries to get to the first down marker, but he is stopped. How about Oakley? He is such a sideline to sideline linebacker. And he gets it done. Punt back to Brooklyn Santana. He back jukes. Makes two men miss. And he's off to the race to the left side. He's got the punter to beat. He makes a miss. And Brooklyn Santana will take it. Touchdown. Take a look at this back juke. Making two defenders look silly. And he does the rest. Brooklyn Santana, if he's not doing that well in receiving this year, you know he's still got the speed and explosiveness. He makes it a 10 to nothing game. He's already got two returns for touchdowns this year. So here's Aiden Robbins up the middle, and he picks up a gain of 12. Now, the reason why I brought Brooklyn Santana into this program was to make some exciting plays. I thought he would be a decent receiver this year. He doesn't have the route running. He's still developing, but that's what he does. He just gives us the big time plays. Robbins carries to the right side. And this time, it's a gain of seven, bringing it to a third and two. Here, the redshirt freshman at quarterback, Jones, in the pocket, under pressure. This time, he moves and takes the sack. Loss of two yards. Emmanuel Webb gets there. It's a sack. And now, here comes Rochford back out onto the field. So here about seven minutes left here in the first half. Here is Matty Brooks across the middle. It's a gain of 12 on that catch. So Roger for now from the shotgun handoff. Terrence Pitt Howard, his biggest run of the day is a gain of 12. Pick it up a first down. Now Louisville has a very weak defense. So we're able to do a little bit more than we usually do than other teams. Here is Enzi Lobato who checks into the game and he picks up a gain of eight. I definitely miss the element of going deep on passes, though. That's the one thing that JPE brought to the table. He's out for the season as well with a broken shoulder. Here's Rochford throw into the sideline, and Christopher Dalton will lose two. And they sent the cover zero blitz. We may have had a man open over the middle. That ends up being a punt, though. So four and a half to go. Here's Jones throw into the left side, and Louisville picks up the first down on their first play of the next possession. Jonathan Butler, the tight end, gain of 14. So now Jones running a little bit of a read option. Aiden Robbins throws off a defender and picks up 12, or actually 10. Five for 40 so far, eight yards per carry average. So here's Robbins, another carry in the backfield, and he gets hit, but somehow avoids that tackle for loss and picks up a gain of 10. I think one thing that our incoming recruiting class is going to do is tackle and wrap up. And here's another one. And it's going to be Ugo Tenbawa on the stop behind the line. I love him as a rotational piece. He's definitely been a guy that's been contributing quite a bit the last few years, actually, and actually getting it done. Third and 12. This is a screen pass. Not this time. It's not going to work. Oakley was out there, and that one gets the stop. 
So we come out next drive under about a minute 15 left here in the first half. Here is Rochford throwing to the sideline. Terrence Pitt Howard, such a good back out of the backfield receiving the ball. You would never expect that out of a power back like Terrence Pitt Howard. So play action fake, quick throw. It's Alexander Wynn, the fullback, picking up a gain of 11. Lined him up that time at tight end, and he gets his first catch, I think, of the year. Maybe a second. Here's the screen pass called. Here's Enzi. He picks up a first and more gain of 13. Enzi Labata is the big back with the speed. He does get it done on that catch and run. So 44 seconds left here in the first half. Rochford throws to the sideline. It's Ty Elliott, who seems he's been here so long, and he did, gets it done there, his first catch of the game. He's fifth on the depth chart as here we line up with two backs in the backfield. Throw into the right side. It's Devon Cash. Space in a touchdown. Diving for the pylon. Devon Cash getting it done. And that one will make it 17-0 at halftime. So Louisville comes out in the second half down by a few scores and no points put up on the board. Their offense has been terrible. Here's a scramble to the right side. That's actually a read option, taking a big hit, but Steve Jones holds on to it. It's a first down. It looks like they're running a lot of option here. Jones again. He takes another big hit. He's got to hold on to that football. He's lucky on that one because if he would have fumbled, the running back got a hit on that. He wouldn't have picked it up. So third and six, close to about the 40 Seven yard line Jones. He's gonna quickly throw it's Harrell. He's got space beating CJ Miles in coverage and eventually taken down. And that's a first down. And now they're inside the red zone for the first time this evening. So Charlotte backed up against their end zone. Here is Jones throwing across the middle. And I thought we had the coverage on that one, but a great throw and a nice catch by Landon Brown. And that brings it to a third and inches. Let's see what Jones does. He's going to keep it. Looks like it's an option. He pitches it out to Robbins, who loses the football out of bounds. And that one will be a loss of three, and they have to settle for three points. So here we go now, 17-3 to three with possession. Here is Jeffrey Johnson in the game, running a little bit of option, pitching it out to Cash, who cuts outside. Gets to about the 50. It's a gain of 10. Now, I like to have that package in the playbook with Jeffrey Johnson, who checks in. We want a little bit of option. Rochford, I don't want to risk him getting hurt, so I run it once in a good while with Rochford, but not too much. So now we're close to the 50 now, third and six. The pressure up the middle. Rochford gets out of the pocket, dumps it off short, and it's Kung Yashu. He's running, and he gets to the first down marker. It's a gain of 10 for Kung Yashu, the senior. So here we are across the 50 now. Rochford from the shotgun. He's going to throw across the middle in the coverage. And that was almost picked off. Rochford almost made a big time mistake on that throw. So now we get it to a third and 10. Rochford throwing. Dalton drops it. Christopher Dalton has had issues with catching the football. And that's really, really been an issue for us. Because like plays like that where we need a first down in big games... We can't afford to do that. So here they are from the pistol formation. They're going to hand off. Aiden Robbins stopped in the backfield. Gary Anderson was there on the stop. So now they get it to a second and long this time. Running a man in motion. A little option this time. Jones tries to keep it. And he pitches it on the option. And that's what I'm talking about. He tried to do that earlier. And I said if you would have pitched it, it would have been a fumble. And look what happens now. This time nobody's home third and very long Jones screen pass called and it looks like nobody was ready for that pass and it's knocked away that's Levi Craig in coverage that's maybe one of the first times we've said his name the freshman cornerback who does play mostly in the slot here's a quickly throw across the middle and it's caught Devon Cash a gain of 28 in his third catch of the game so here in the fourth quarter now, we're well in control. This is kind of a blowout here. Played like a blowout here is Christopher Dalton. Gain of six on that one, making it a third and four. Two backs line up in the backfield. Here's that rare read option we run with Rochford. He takes it up the middle, breaking a tackle too. And look at Rochford showing a little bit of power as well. It's a gain of five yards. 
So Raj for now. Three wide receivers out to the left side. He's just going to take it himself up the middle. And he actually dives. And it's going to be a fumble. Now, we meant to slide on that play. Instead, it ends up being a dive. I tried to go and challenge this because it did look like the ball was down on the ground. But back in these old games, I think that, you know, the down by contact with the ball didn't exist. So I could not challenge it. It only let me challenge the spot of the ball. But I tried to slide on that one. And now we get it back on defense. In garbage time, here is Jones throwing to the end zone. It's caught. It's Fitzpatrick in the back of the end zone. Touchdown. It's just a seven-point game at this point. Despite being blown out the entire game, Louisville does answer with a late touchdown here late in the game. And they end up lining up for the onside kick. This one is going to be recovered. Kung Yashu is there, and that one will do it in this game. It was actually a way more uh, one-sided game than what the score indicated for sure because Terrence Pitt Howard did his thing running the football and Brian Rochford was safe with the football it was just that type of game as here's the last play of the game here's Terrence Pitt and he picks up a gain of two moving the chains Louisville eventually calls all of their timeouts and we end up winning Rochford has just been phenomenal he's eight he's now seven and zero in conference play and now we look to play the number one team in our conference in Boston College who was demoted from the ACC last season. I'm really, really looking forward to that. They have probably, I'd say Appalachian State and them probably have the best rosters in the conference. And I'm looking forward to it because, you know, they want to get back to the ACC. They were demoted. So they feel definitely slighted by these teams that they're just going through. But they just lost to Rutgers. So I don't really know what team is going to show up for them. But it was a good game all around for our team. Great defensively, good offensively. I just love how everybody in this offense touches the ball. Look at all these receptions. I mean, everybody touches the ball. Nobody had more than one drop. I guess that's a plus. Christopher Dalton had that first down drop. And, uh... I mean, it's going to happen. Christopher Dalton doesn't have the best hands on the team, but he's a dynamic player when he gets the ball in his hands. He can score. He's a threat. He's got speed at tight end. Steve Jones didn't do too well. Didn't do too bad either, but didn't do enough. So here we are at 7-4. 0-4 starting non-conference play. Now seven straight wins. You've got to be kidding me. Appalachian State, though, three straight wins losses here eight and three on the season four and three in conference i mean that is just insane they did get a win versus temple to give them a finally a win that would break that losing streak but now they are fourth in their division they are probably not going to the conference championship because duke is ahead of them they play unc who is a non-conference game and it looks like their conference schedule is done and then usf plays uh I believe they play a non-conference team as well, so I think their schedule is done as well. So the last two teams to play in conference are Boston College and Charlotte. And Boston College has the best quarterback in the conference. Maybe Eric Taylor has something to say about that. But Jerkovic is one of the best players in the conference. He has done phenomenal this year. He's a senior. He's got prototypical size, 31 and 5. And he could pass Matt Ryan's Boston College passing record. We'll have to see. This is going to be interesting. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. The winner of this game goes to the conference championship and will be up for promotion. So get your, your submissions in and get that going for next season. And we'll see you next episode. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. It's too easy. I've been there, done it, seen it. Boy, all that like Kenny. Still got crack, they feeling. Flow still hot like Phoenix. Shine so bright, I'm gleaming. This off top, I'm tweaking. Fresh out the rat like me. And I'm still trying to fight my demons. Cause we all gotta act like Tina. That's why I gotta ride with the Nino. Outside, it's a war going